Writer and journalist, author of the book War in 140 Characters, How Social Media is Reshaping Conflict in the 21st Century. Fantastic title. Great to have you with us. You. Tell us, why has Elon Musk caused so much turmoil at Twitter? Well, I mean, he's taken over and he's, he's sort of trying to rejig the company. Um, first of all, he's trying to rejig it extremely severely. As you can see, he fired half the people. Mm. And secondly, he seems to be doing it tweet by tweet in public as well. So the whole thing is, you know, it's corporately, in corporate terms, it's a very, very big move. But also it's become something of a public circus as well. So I think that's the answer to your first question. And of course, there was an ultimatum on Thursday. Um, and half, you know, half the workforce was fired um, two weeks ago. Is that, are there still, and will there be still enough people to, to run Twitter? Well, that's the thing, right? I mean, today on Twitter, if you've been on Twitter at all, everyone is saying, well, if it's the end of the Twitter, I've had a great time here. Everyone's signing off. I mean, it doesn't seem like there are enough people left to run it. I mean, this 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 ultimatum was bizarre. I mean, he, he asked people to sort of sign up to, you know, essentially ask them to work longer hours for the same pay without telling them really what his vision was. You know, stuff is coming out of Twitter. People are just kind of perplexed. Um, in some sense, it seems that, that Elon Musk is having a very extended, very long, very drawn out, very public nervous breakdown after spending 44 billion on something that a lot of people say that he didn't actually really want to buy in the end. And what does this all mean for Twitter users? I know I'm a, I'm a very uh, heavy user. We all are. We all are. I mean, let's see. At the moment, people seem to complain about losing followers. They're playing around with the algorithms. There's this whole legacy blue tick thing. I think both you yeah. and I have one. Um, so it's all confused, really. Um, look, it, I think personally it will be okay. I don't think people, he's, you know, people don't tend to set fire to $44 billion. So I'm sure it will continue. And one thing that the supposed end of Twitter has taught us is that the hysteria of Twitter continues. But let's see. I mean, I think he's trying to figure out a way to make it profitable. He's trying, he, he's talking about charging for the website, which people are not happy about. But he goes back and forth. I mean, the fact is, I think that he doesn't really know what he needs to do to get the result that he wants to get. And until that happens, things are going to be very chaotic, very up and down, but I'm sure it will survive. And when you look at the reaction uh, by Twitter users, how would you uh, sum it up? Because, you know, really, what, what other options are there? Instagram seems to be completely different. I'm not very good on it. Um, I don't even understand it properly. Um, what other options really are there for people that love Twitter at this stage? Well, there's this Mastodon thing that everyone keeps talking about, but I'm, I'm not really sure. I mean, that's the thing that he has in his favor, right, is that people people need it, and especially people in, in the media like us. Uh, Twitter is very popular. It's not always the most pleasant space, but it does, you know, if you want a news feed, if you want to engage with people, especially if you're in some form of public life, you're a politician, if you're a journalist, if you're a celebrity or something, Twitter really is the ideal platform. And, and that, you know, that is a real USP of it. And that's the strength that it has. Musk just says that he needs to make it more profitable because it's a business. So as I say, I think that I don't think it's going to go anywhere unless something terrible happens. I think people will stay on. But I think we're just in for a lot of chaos mm -hmm. while he tries to work things out, both at a corporate level and even psychologically. <laughs> David, fantastic to speak to you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, really great to have you on. David Patrick Karakos, uh, thank you.